You know, this might not be the prettiest place in the world to come catch snook, you know, right here at the Roosevelt Bridge, because it's just, I mean, it's like you're fishing downtown Miami with the traffic you got coming by, but if you want to come catch some big ones, there's some big ones here. No doubt about it. This is uh, one of the, I would have to say, one of the best places or the best place to fish for snook and big snook in the yeah. country. This is that tannic chocolate colored water here that they like so much. Old river water. A lot of bait gets filtered through here and these snook lay on the other side of these pylons just waiting for them to get confused when the, the current pushes the bait into the pylons and confuses the bait and then the snook take advantage of that and just pound them. That's why we're throwing these little terror eyes today because they just mimic the bait coming across these pylons and then this current. There he is. Oh, there he is. Below the boat. Now these are supposed to be 38 and 42 inch snook, not these little puppies. <laughs> All right. Come on, little dude. There's got to be some of these big ones around here. But you know what? To start it off, we'll take the little guy. The little line cider. Ah. Come here, little buddy. <laughs> on the brown dog. There you go, buddy. You got him. Show him to everybody out there. Hooked right in the top of the mouth. Right where they should be, right at the Roosevelt Bridge, little dude right there. Go ahead and let him go, and we're gonna tell everybody where we're at and who you are. All right, see you later there, buddy. Go on. And off he goes. Well, welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing. We're off of Stewart, Florida, which is about, or about an hour and a half south of Orlando. So we're on the eastern side, fishing one of my most favorite spots in the world, right here in Stewart, Florida. We just got done with Mogan Mania, which is a big tournament that we throw in every year, and we had to come back down to this spot right here. Anybody that was at Mogan Mania knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> we were catching some giant, giant snook. Yeah. My biggest snook ever in my life. Got Captain Greg Snyder with us today. Y'all stay tuned to Addictive Fishing. We're gonna hopefully be showing you some big, big snook. Mogan, Mogan snook. snook. <laughs> <laughs> Big dog. You think it's imitating a crab? I think it is, yeah. Well, if you notice how we're working these terrorize now, we're kind of pitching them up into the current, and with DOAs, especially, you know, a lot of the DOA baits out there, you want to work them as slow as possible. And with a DOA terrorize, just like we're doing, we're hopping it off the bottom, and this is a mud bank on this side as it comes down and passes through the bridge here, creates all these little eddies and little holes getting dug out, and that's where these, these uh, snook are just hanging there waiting for these little pieces of bait to roll down with the current. And if you see the current, the current's coming straight onto the head of the boat here, and it's moving in from the ocean and pushing in, and all we're doing is imitating little baits getting rolled. These big snook are lazy. They're not, they don't want to chase anything especially the big females, especially right now when they're full of eggs, they want to just open their mouth and have that bait fall right in there. Oh, oh darn it, There we go. Get out of my <laughs> <laughs> That's a real one That's there, the bro. That's the one, buddy. That's the real one. Crank up that big engine. <laughs> oh, he's going. He's all right. He's you all right? right? That's the real. Did you see that hit? <laughs> it about oh. took it right out of your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I yanked it. yanked it right out of my hands. Oh. Woo! You know, I was beginning to wonder if these guys were still here. They're here, man. <laughs> man, oh man. <laughs> this, uh, this is one of them for sure. <laughs> that broke my wrist. I hope y'all saw scared, that. It scared me. <laughs> <laughs> scared you. <laughs> about lost my new right McGill rod. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, they keep tap, tap, tap. <laughs> and this guy walked it. <laughs> He's, oh! oh! That's that. That's the daddy there. That's the one right here, that's buddy. The, that's the one we'll warm up with. Yeah. That's the one we can definitely warm up with. Right over here. Right over your head. Ah, very nice, Blair. Awesome <laughs> job, man. Look at that, that dude. Let's see that puppy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're talking about right there, Tell buddy. Tell keeper snook. <laughs> very that, nice. That is nice. Look at that DOA. Right in the corner of the mouth where it should be. Yep. Back down in the water here. Now, and you know, one thing I want to stress about these big snook like this, once a snook gets over a certain size, their belly, all their organs in their belly, 
you want to support them if you're going to take them out and get a picture of them try to support them with your with your with your other hand like that and try not to really hold them up and down vertically because you don't want to hurt these guys especially when the season's closed or especially if you're going to be releasing them because when their organs get pushed all the way back down into their belly like that it's really not a good thing to do to the fish it ends up killing them they'll swim off all right but a lot of times you'll you'll see a snook end up floating up on the bank or something like that and it's just from the improper techniques of releasing the fish so if y'all do get the chance to come and catch some of these fish like this when you release them or take pictures with them just support their belly real good support those internal organs because what a magnificent fish to come and catch what a magnificent fish it's got some shoulders on that one yeah it does that's a nice that, that is a nice fish that's a good i'm gonna pull him up Beautiful. one more time that belly <laughs> is that a pretty fish or what line siders <laughs> from stewart and that's one of the little ones from the other day if we don't get one of those great big ones get on out of here dude see you later i tell you what even if we don't happen to get one of them big fish like we got on the in Mogamani the other day, we got some good pictures. We'll flash one up. He was my biggest snook to date. He was 43 and a half inches. Beautiful. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more snook from the Roosevelt Bridge right here in Stewart, Florida. Come on, fish. I want to feel a boom. <laughs> There's a big dog in here, man. Well, I had a good hit. Good thump. There's nothing there, though. You work it harder than I do. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. I work it hard enough to where if I if I bounce it and he hits it on the sink, the next time I give a jig, I, I just there. come straight up with I got it and you. you give it a little bit more of a twist. I got you. That makes sense. I think it buries the hook a little better. Plus, you get that snapping off the bottom, I think. You know, just like when you push your it, hands it, through the water, you know, yeah. you can hear it go through. And I think the snook actually are keying on that sound of that bait going through Gets the water. Gets their attention. A quicker. Yeah. And they come and check it out. You can actually feel the little tail mm -hmm. to terrorize when you flip it up. Go brrr. Right there, right there. That was brrr. <laughs> John, there's a real one. That's oh, a real yeah. one. That, that is a real one. That's the one, buddy. That is a real one. Probably gonna have to crank up for that one. I don't know. Think. If if it continues going that way, yeah. <laughs> Chasing the snow. Oh come on, girl. Oh. He's on 15 pound test. I'm glad you told me that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta come this way. Be able to stay right here, ain't? Hey, I'll go backwards. Show this one off real good to the audience out there. Was that 25 minutes? <laughs> Make this, oh, look at that. That's what you got there. I got a big snook what wrap. You got Belly there? wrap. He's got her. Nuts. Oh, <laughs> Morgan! <laughs> well, that wasn't much of a fight there. I still don't think you can realize he's hooked. <laughs> well, she just wrapped around and hooked right in the top of the lip there. Look at that fish. She just wrapped. <sighs> That's one you don't want to take a chance on losing that, bro. <laughs> no, buddy. I knew she started feeling funny. Look nice at the hump fish. on her back. They are getting ready to spawn. Nice. Better than here and get that hook out of there. That fish just came in backwards. Oh! That's called getting realized he was hooked. <laughs> <laughs> well, these, uh, these fish here around the Roosevelt, we've been talking about them for years. We've been doing a couple of shows from these, from this area right here. And Mr. Nichols, who's sitting right over there, the creator of <laughs> DOA Lures and yeah. the owner of DOA Baits, said they are here. And he, we came up here during Mogan Mania last weekend. Oh! And they were here. I love how that rod bends like that. Like I say, a 12-inch fish or a 40-inch fish. Oh, man, she is <laughs> still not happy. You can have fun with any size here she fish comes, with this Blair. rod. Well, hurry up and tire that fish out again. Here she comes. Uh, Oh, right into the boat. Come here. There you go, girl. There we go. That's a nice fish. That's a pretty fish. Captain Greg, y'all have got a, a fishery down here like none other. Isn't it great? Like none other. I've never used one of that color. Everybody's got their favorite color to catch yep. these puppies right here. <laughs> that is a big fish. 
You know, there's people that fish their whole lifetime, Greg, and never never get a snook that size. That is a pretty snook. So if That's a trophy snook right that there. That is a, definitely a trophy snook. If y'all ever want to do this, and I've said it a thousand times on the show, come with a guide that knows where these fish are and you can come down and catch these. You can go right to the website at addictivefishing.com. We'll have Greg's picture up there. You can go look at a, a little clip on there. And uh, yeah, there we had a ton of other guides from all around the state, all around the Texas, Louisiana. You can go pretty much anywhere. and. Uh, and get you an addictive fishing guide and come get addicted to catching some big fish. Some Mogans, as we call them. Greg, that is a nice snow. We're gonna yeah. shoot her on down. That's a nice one. Get her back down the next Clean. Go back down there and do your thing. That clean, clear water. Thanks, Mrs. Schnook. <laughs> Thanks, man. Captain that Greg. That was great. <laughs> that was a good one. Once again, y'all ever wanna do this, go to the website, addictivefishing.com, go to the charter section, and book your trip. Come catch you a line cider right here in Stewart, Florida. Captain Greg. Let's get back up there. Let's do it Greg. again, man. Let's do it again. <laughs> Look at that stance. Doing a Nichols dance. <laughs> Look, see, it works. The Mark Nichols dance. That's a snook. That's a real one there, bro. That's a snook. Either that or it's a halibut. <laughs> He's staying on the bottom, bro. Holy moly. I don't know, don't. Hey, are you trying to catch the biggest snook we've ever got on the show? This could be it. Well, I know after today, we got, uh, what? We got some Roosevelt redemption. Work with me, girl. We have been trying to show these big snook to the audience, you guys out there, for a couple of years. Actually, for many, many years. Because we know that the snook- I'm not even, there. she's not even close. I gotta come this way. Okay. Sorry. Do the Roosevelt snook dance. <laughs> oh man. So tell me what you think of that Ryan McGill now. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's color, color. Look at oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. That's one of them 40 inches. Oh, come here, baby. Oh, look at that flutter right there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, 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 o
using 40 pound test fluorocarbon leader. And if you notice the new red line that I was using, that is Power Pro. And it's something new that they've come out with this year. So look for it. I love using it. It disappears down about 15 feet. The new Wright McGill Rod Signature Series, it's a slam series. If you notice, we were catching the small fish, we were catching big fish using the same rod. The power, it comes from the carbon Kevlar. It's reinforced all the way up to, to about right here. You can see the wrap on it. And it's high modulus graphite, just like any other, any other good rods out there that are on the market. That's basically what we were using. Lunker sauce, everything did its job today. And I tell you, the 40 inch snook that we were catching, unbelievable fish. If you ever get a chance to do it, come down here and book Captain Greg and catch you some fish, man. It's, it's, it's a real good time. There's your bait check for today. We'll see you. Come on, fish. What do you think, Blair? Do you think these snook are just laying in here? Or do they move when the tide changes? I know they do move on certain sides of the bridge and the tides. Do you think they go anywhere and then they come back? you know, within half a mile or so? That's a mystery from Daytona Beach all the way down to the tip of the Keys, <laughs> all the way back up to around Ancloak Key. <laughs> They're yeah. addictive, and I tell you, man, you, you, you start catching them, just once you think you got them figured out. This is about right where we were sitting on Saturday. On Saturday, we were catching them in here like that. Right My here. best snook day ever on a Saturday, and it was boats just going up and down, up yeah. and down, up and down. Yeah. There he is. That feels like a good one there, brother. Good. Whew. You got to love it. Need me to do anything? No. With the boat? No. I think good. I'm just going to kind of let her walk on around, or let walk me on around. Around the power ah, pole. Ah, very nice. I don't guess we could use a power pole in this deep of water, huh? Nope, not until they invent one that's 20 foot. <laughs> well, John, you hear that? We need a 20 footer. And that does look like a nice snooker. That is a nice, oh, yeah. man. He's going to come right in the boat for you. Awesome. How about that? <laughs> look pretty, at that fish. Isn't that a pretty oh, fish? Swallowed, if you don't short. get excited over that, there's something wrong with you. There is something. Oh, here you come. <laughs> don't jump on in. Don't jump on in. There you go. Nice fish. Oh. <laughs> oh. That, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice line cider. Yes, get sir. That, get that terrorized out and just find out that uh, I went to the color that you was going to. Oh, you sure did. It worked. Folks, <laughs> right here in Stewart, come catch a line cider or be your life. Ugh. Come here, puppy. That, my friend, would make any fisherman smile. Because if it don't, <laughs> ooh, if one like that can't make you smile, brother, then you shouldn't be fishing. You just shouldn't be fishing. Greg, it's been a heck of a day, bro. I'll tell you what. Thanks for having me, man. No, it was great. If y'all ever get a chance to do this, go to the website, addictivefishing.com, book Captain Greg, and you can come catch a snook of a lifetime right here in Stewart, Florida. One of my favorite places to fish in the whole world, and Mark Nichols from DOA Baits, who make these lovely little tear eyes and a lot of the baits that you see on the show. Lives right here in Palm City, Stewart area, about an hour and 45 minutes away from Orlando. So if you're if you're here vacation around Orlando area, yep. all you got to do is come south a little Great bit. Great place to come fishing, I'll tell you that. And catch yourself a bunch of line ciders. Greg, awesome time. I can't wait to come That's do great. it again. Great. Until next week, y'all. Don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. Come book you a trip with Captain Greg and catch you a line cider or two or three or four. 40 <laughs> inches, I can tell you that, bro. <laughs> See you next week. You know, these are pretty good with mustard, ketchup. Mm, son of a gun, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs>